Trout on. Woohoo! Little rainbow. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he got off. That's okay. Long distance release. I got a little bumblebee fly on and they they seem to like it. So hopefully we'll get a bigger one. You never know. It's floating right out there in the shadows. We're, we threw it up in that foam line over there, which is the deepest part of the hole. But we're just going to work some of these back areas too, because you just never know where that trout will pop out. It's coming right down through the foam line right in front of us here. Pretty nice run, and you can see on the far bank, right, there's that suds line where all the suds are. It looks like bubbles in the water, uh, like soap almost. It's not. It's just mixed up stuff. I don't know what it is. But uh, what happens is that's like basically floating down. Look, it's floating down in a nice line, and that's where all the bugs will float down too in those same areas. So. That's where you want to fish, that far bank over there. Right off of this riffle's good too. You got some shadow, good holding water for trout. But there, there was a there was a rise right there, a little guy. And then like we'll drift down just through here, this little shadowy area right here. It's always possible a ship, a, a trout will pop up. But definitely along that foam line over there, it's good cover. There's some logs down in the water. The trout can hide, they feel safe. And then, see that? A rise right there. Littler guy, but we're just not fast enough to hook him. But we'll keep trying right down through that foam line. And we'll work our whole way up here. Wanagi's eating grass in the river. <laughs> She's a goat. But anyways, yeah, our fly's just out here in the middle. And we're just letting it float down, just seeing what'll come up. Off of this run and we're getting right up to the top here oh and uh, there's been some really nice fish so I see him come up they're not they're just kind of hitting the fly real fast there he is there's a bunch of them in there there we go there's a little fish uh, oh he spit me out okay all right but there's a bunch in here and I may just switch my fly here. Oh, that was a freaking nice fish. Oh, that was a nice fish. Yeah, there's some good fish in here. We're gonna fish this for a little bit. I might have to switch flies though. This is a good fly, but they've hit it so many times. The big ones have come up. Oh, 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 that was a nice fish. Okay. We're gonna keep throwing it in there. Hopefully he'll, Oop. Rainbow, he took our grasshopper. You can tell by these rainbows that they jump a whole bunch. See, look at this. Is it a rainbow? Yeah, sure is. Rainbows tend to jump everywhere, but get our hand wet here. I'm gonna hold the fly. But you can see a nice rainbow, huh? Look at that, a nice little rainbow. We'll get that fly back and let him go so he can get bigger. Just make sure there's no fish in there. Well, there is, but no fish gonna take our fly, then we'll we'll walk in there. It's a little deep, but uh, oh, I'm in the bushes. Right up in there. No, no takers. We're gonna work down from the car now. Car's right up there above. We went up, had a few good little fish on, little fish, 
had a few big ones come up not huge but decent for the wood and uh, now we're just gonna fish down around the corner there's a spring that comes into the river and I want to check it out I saw it about medium about a, about a month ago I checked it out and uh, it was still really high water so we're gonna walk up that a little bit maybe hopefully and see if there's some fish up in there is actually a spring creek that dumps down into the wood river and i've i've always known it was here but i've never fished it sitting down on the bottom here there's a blind rainbow trout he's probably i don't know 14 to 16 inches long at least nice fish and then there were some other fish up here rising it's really silty in here so i'm imagining there's pretty good hatches that come off but also there's a problem that I'm gonna cast, I have to cast way up in here to catch some fish. Ah, shit. Uh, now we're just going around like this is the third corner, I think. And it's gotten gravelly, the bottom, but there's tons of weed growth in here. So the hatches and the insects have gotta be really good in here. And uh, there's a big rock steep uh, area up here. So I'm hoping there's a big hole up in here. If there is, that would be definitely where the fish would hit. Uh, the, the water is definitely, and this is a big turn up here and it's got a big hole up here. I'm already waist deep in here. There's tons of weed growth. You can see the water's nice. Uh, not a, there's damselflies. There were a few fish rising when I first came in. I haven't seen one yet. I'm throwing a damsel and a soft tackle and just to see what comes up or what happens. Uh, I don't know what's in here. I'm guessing rainbows, um, but this is a nice look. I'm like up to my waist in this right now. So this has got to have some nice fish up in here. I would imagine I'm throwing a damsel with a soft tackle. That side is a lot deeper. And so we're walking up here. Look at this. Oh yeah, there's fish rising up there. We're going to catch a fish. This is awesome. This is awesome. There's got to be some pigs in here. That's a deep hole right there. That's about four or five feet deep at least, which is plenty to hold trout. Like, we're just going to keep walking. I think that big rock, I think there's a deep hole right here. Yep, there's no reason why there shouldn't. Yeah, there's little fish in here. There's all different size fish in here. There should be some piggy pigs in here for sure. No fish. Well, I mean, I caught some little ones. That's not true. I caught a few little ones, uh, but it got hot. We went and investigated that one creek we've been wanting to investigate. It's a spring creek that comes in and flows into the Wood River. It's called Willow Creek. Uh, it flows out from private land into the wood. and. It's totally navigable, six inch log, so you can wade up. It's about waist deep um, the whole way uh, it was going. And, uh, and it was about probably at least 10 to 12 feet wide minimum, but it was pretty nice. So we're gonna cool off before I get this truck. Take a dip. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, I love the Wood River. Oh, God. That was refreshing. So, we're right back at the truck again. We fished for a couple hours. It was fun. And uh, we're going to head back, go get a late lunch. Maybe fish Silver Creek later tonight, uh, just before sundown, if the the wind's pretty calm today, so it should be a good evening fish. And, uh, yeah. Woo. That's it. All right, peace out. We're float tubing in here with Nagi's up here in the front. You can see she's in the front of the float tube. Uh, we're in the Sullivan's, the lower slough. It's moving water, but it's really moving slow. It's kind of almost like a pond. Uh, but there is movement of water and uh, there's some nice fish in here. It's a pretty cloudy day. It's a little bit in getting into the afternoon, but that's why I decided to fish because it's cloudy. 
so actually the fish uh, won't go tucking away as much but morning hatches are kind of done but we're calabatus and a blue wing olive emerger on the end and uh, I've already had a couple of refusals but that's good they're checking it out so uh, we'll just keep trying moving down find some feeding fish and fish to those so there's always some pigs eating in the afternoon. We've had a couple takes, weren't ready for them. Two good fish, as usual, missed them. Monagi distracting me with kisses. And uh, yeah, so anyways, we're just kind of hanging out. It's uh, staying cloudy and cooler. So that's good. The fish are still out, some cruising, feeding. But uh, it just really got kind of quiet right now. So I'm hoping something here is going to happen this afternoon. I mean, we're in the afternoon, so let's go. We get a light breeze sometimes, but shit. I don't know. Not so yeah, that's a banger. Come on, banger. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. There we go. He's a banger. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. He's a banger there, buddy. That was worth the wait there. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, piggy. I think he ate the spider, buddy. I think he ate that spider. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. He's a smart noodle, this one. He's a smart noodle. He went right for the cover. <laughs> went right for the cover. Ah, shit. Where are you, noodle? Oh, there you go, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Right there. there you go, buddy. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice rainbow. That was worth the wait. He ate that spider right up. The old spider fly, huh? There we go. Nice, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. That's a beauty. What do you think, Wanagi? Look at that. What do you think? A nice bow there, buddy. Okay, okay. Hey, there you go. Live another day. Yeah, buddy. High five. <laughs> Shit, yeah, that was awesome. All right. Well, he ate the spider fly. Look at that. That's the old spider fly. Man, those big ones, fish either eat it or they don't. And it's usually a big fish that takes it. So we might throw it a couple more times. We'll see.